welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new award winning Lynx. Now this robotic was actually sent over by UB Tech Robotics, a company we've seen before that also makes cool looking robots such as the Ava 1S. Now this here is the latest model, by which I mean it literally just came out. It features Amazon Alexa, so it can actually have conversations with you. In addition, it has cameras on it so it can do surveillance mode, can even do different functions such as hug you, even dance. So it's actually a very unique robot which I'm really excited to try out. Not to mention, it actually won one of the best class awards at CES 2017. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so this here is our box in which it kind of highlights all the different functionalities of Lynx, such as a voice activated human robot, control Lynx in avatar mode, easy remote video access, remote robot access, smart mobile surveillance, which allows you to control it in a way where if anyone walks into the room, the robot will actually take a photo and send it to your phone. You can even listen to music using the Amazon Alexa, and then continuously they'll be adding functions on it, so it's the robot is constantly updating itself, which is really neat. Now, it's always getting smarter, so do keep that in mind. Uh, it's got an instinctive voice command, uh, it's got intelligent learning, and then you can use your iOS as well as your Android to control it. Uh, so on the front itself, it just kind of shows the robot again, once again on the cover. Uh, just kind of appearing to the side, it's got a very interesting look to it. Uh, I love the white color of it, and the box itself is very nice and much appealing, I would say, nonetheless. Uh, so this here is a bag to carry with the uh, robot itself, so you can just go ahead and put it in there and take it wherever you want. So let's go ahead and put that to the side, and let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so we got like a white box and we have the UB Tech logo right here. It's actually a nice looking cutout, so that's actually really unique. All right, so let's go ahead and lift this up. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> uh, so, ooh. so it's got a nice styrofoam look to it, uh, in which you have UB Tech embossed into the logo itself. Uh, so we'll go ahead and lift this up here and see our robot underneath that. Oh, wow, that thing looks really neat. Uh, check that out. Uh, very uh, matte white color look to it, uh, very nice clean cut professional look to it as well. Uh, I don't really see much of the motors kind of exposed the way Alpha 1S is, so that's a very nice key distinction right there. Uh, so we have a, a few different things going on here besides our robot. So we have our adapter here in the corner, uh, so it looks like it's just your regular power adapter that just plugs into the wall. So that's that, and then we have our AC cable here to plug into the wall as well. Uh, down here is our little instruction guide, and it's our user manual kind of explaining on how to st set up the robot itself. And then let's take out this robot. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well this here is our Lynx, and overall the robot itself looks really nice. I do like the color it being like a very nice matte white, and I love the fact that the motors are not exposed such as the Alpha 1S was. Uh, then in addition, the smile on this particular robot, especially with the eyes, it makes it look really friendly as well as very user friendly. Now, a few different things to note is coming from the top to the bottom, uh, on the head itself we do have a volume control button over here, so we got a plus as well as a minus. Uh, then we have microphones over here as well, as well as on the side you'll see that there's actually uh, headlights, so it'll actually glow. Uh, and then the eyes itself have LEDs in them as well. Uh, there's a mouth light and then there's two speakers on both sides of the ears. Uh, we have a camera over here. Uh, this here is our mute button for the microphone goes. Uh, we have an infrared sensor. And then we have a few different joints. Uh, and then on the back here we have a battery pack. Uh, which kind of just plugs right in and it looks like you can go ahead and unscrew it and uh, remove it if you need to. So overall it's a very nice looking robot in terms of appearance goes. So I'm really excited to see how it functions. Now in terms of weight, it weights about just the same as Alpha 1S I would say. Uh, and although it's not as sharp edged as Alpha 1S, especially with all the exposed wires in this particular robot. Uh, so you can actually see you know, all the different things right there. Uh, so it looks really different but definitely a huge upgrade I would say than nonetheless. Now, in terms of the app itself, um, it connects with Amazon Alexa, so it can actually like functionality with that as well. So I'm definitely excited to try it out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and boot up this robot and see what it's all about. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Uh, we updated our links as well as paired it with our Amazon account as well as the Amazon Alexa account as well. Now, what we can do is we can go ahead and click this button here. This will enable the microphone. Now we can ask a Lynx to do different about different things. For instance, Alexa, ask Lynx to dance. Sounds good.
Hey, good job. And a little bow. <laughs> uh, so another thing we can do is uh, a few different things such as uh, Alexa, ask Lynx to move forward. Roger that. So he does uh, do different functions such as that. Another thing we do is to teach me yoga. Uh, let's try that. Ask Lynx to teach me yoga. Welcome to Lynx. Please put me on a flat surface first. Your next pose is squat pose. If you are ready, say ready, or you can say help to get help. You also can say skip to go to the next pose. Ready. Inhale. Spread your legs shoulder width apart. Exhale. Bend your knees and squat. Well, I'm kind of sitting right squat now. Squat down as far as possible. Slowly return to starting position. Oh, I feel relaxed already. Your next pose is one foot standing. If you are ready, say ready. Or you can say help to get help. Ready. Yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm just watching. Inhale. Okay. Raise your hands straight over your head. Okay. Right, like this. Lift one foot so that it is perpendicular to the other foot. Ah. <laughs> uh, stop. Goodbye. So you can just go ahead and stop in the middle just like that. Um, so quite interesting design and how that works out. Now some other things that we can look at are a few different skills over here. Uh, so we can have them take a picture. For instance, Alexa. Ask Lynx to take a photo. Okay, please stand in front of Lynx. Okay. Say cheese. Cheese. Well done. You can view the picture in the Lynx app. So let's go to the app and click on album. And there I am. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good quality camera. Uh, so let's go back. Uh, and then uh, other things that we can do besides that are different functionalities. You can ask them to do a lot of different things in terms of skill sets go. Uh, and it being like Amazon Alexa, we can ask different things as well. For instance, uh, Alexa, how is the weather? In Edison, it's 30 degrees with partly sunny skies. Today, you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 36 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. It's actually uh, pretty spot on in terms of uh, kind of reacting to your responses, which is really nice. Uh, you can always just kind of scroll through here and see all the different things you've done in terms of skill sets go. So it kind of gives you like a nice history of the robot itself. Now let's just kind of jump into avatar mode. Alright, so this here is avatar mode which allows us to control our robot to its full extent. Uh, meaning you can go ahead and control his head movements. For instance, if I move it left, it'll start turning left. Uh, and you can actually see it with the camera itself at the same time. Uh, and then you can control its movements as well by using the right joystick. So it'll allow him to walk forward, right, left, etc. Now on the top here are a few key commands, for instance, hi. Uh, then you can do like hug or like high five, even a handshake. For instance, this is a hug. <laughs> and then here's a high five. Give me five. There we go. Uh, and then here is handshake. <laughs> uh, and then we have much, much more. Uh, for instance, at this point here, we just a microphone, so I can so talk I can through talk the actual the robot, robot itself. itself. So if I click on more, um, so these are all the different functions that you can do. Uh, we have, for instance, we want him to fight. We can make him punch to the right. Uh, you can make him punch to the left. Uh, you can have them bow, um, do different things. So this is bow, check that out. <laughs> uh, and then we have like squat, we have fist bump, let's try that. So you want some fist bump, there we go. And then we have be happy. <laughs> and then we have I come in peace. I come in peace. Uh, at ease we have uh, you are fired. So this here is you are fired. You are fired. <laughs> I will be back. Let's all be back. You are coming with me. Okay. 
so these are some other songs that we can try out. Uh, so just kind of see them perform different things. Um, so let's just try one of these. This is called Hyper. A little more towards the middle. quick and quite responsive, as well as not that loud as other servos are. Alright, so uh, that was Hyper. Uh, there's Jingle Bells, and there's him doing a little bow. Uh, there's Lay It Down, uh, Mellow, uh, No Time for Games, We Wish You a Merry Christmas Song, and Funky House. Um, let's try that one. kind of gives you an idea of what Avatar Mode's about. Uh, obviously, you know, it's got a lot of different capabilities with it. Uh, it gives you full control over the robot itself in terms of like different animations as well as movement goes. Uh, so that's actually quite nice. Alright, so the next thing we're going to try is called Surveillance Mode. Uh, literally, just go ahead and turn it on and then if Lynx detects an object in its presence that moves, it'll start recording and send it to your phone. So let's try this out. I'm going to go ahead and turn them on right here. Surveillance camera is on. And then I'm going to take Alpha and just have Alpha kind of pop in the area. Alright, so I just made a sound and it's probably going to record it and send it to my phone. Alright, and then if I click on the video, check that out. It'll show the robot right there. Uh, it's actually a really crisp quality video as well. So it's actually really awesome how they did that. Uh, so, you know, you can always set this up as your own personal security guard. So it makes it a very uh, interesting aspect towards robotics uh, because it's something you haven't really seen before. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back. So that's about it. Uh, if you go in the settings itself, it kind of gives you more of an introduction towards it, as well as the different uses that you can use in terms of Amazon Alexa goes. Uh, so it's actually a very nice robot overall and definitely something that's really unique. Uh, it makes a great gift for anyone, actually. Uh, and based on compared to the previous robots we've seen, this is a huge upgrade that we're seeing. So definitely a very unique aspect on how things are changing in terms of the robotics world, uh, especially with the interaction with using Amazon Alexa and so on and so forth. All right, well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you had any questions about links, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.